So if you're having trouble hinging your hips, which just means driving back um, when you're doing an RDL, stiff legs, anything that just involves a hip, hip hinge, this is something that you can utilize to really ensure that you drive your hips back. So what we want to do is we want to set up the band where it pulls you slightly up and back, which is going to allow those hips to come back when you start doing the movement. So I'm going to show you guys what that looks like. When you set up the band, you want to place it right where your hips are at. You want to come forward slightly to get some tension, but you don't want to be all the way back here where it's going to unbalance you. So you want to slightly have that pull you back. This is just a reminder for you to drive the hips back, right? So now just kind of showing, showing you guys how it's going to work. As soon as, as soon as I set up, as soon as I break at the hips, the band has tension and starting to drive my hips back, allowing me to focus on just coming down with the movement. I'm right about here where an RDL wants to be, drive back up. Again, this is just a reminder for you to drive the hips up and not allow them to come down too much. That's why the band is a little bit higher versus pulling you downwards. So if you're someone that's really, really struggling with getting your hips to drive back, this is going to be something we're going to implement in your program just to ensure that you can get that hip hinging pattern down.